Hey everyone, it's Michael Goosebumps fan today. I'm going to be talking about another thing like Goosebumps. This is a film from 1987 and it's called Monster Squad. And Monster Squad, I had heard recommended from other people before in the past. And as a big Universal Monsters classic fan, I haven't seen this film before. This is the first time I've ever seen it. And I gotta say, I really enjoyed it. It's not like amazing, but if you're a fan of things like Monster House, the old, um, uh, it, it's produced by the guy who made Back to the Future. Robert Zemeckis. If you're a big fan of people like like that, or like Monster House, or something more in the same vein of this, like uh, like Goonies, for example, or Stephen King's It, the 1990 miniseries, if you're a fan of things like that, I think you'll like Monster Squad, especially if you're a big fan like myself of also things like Frankenstein, Dracula, so many things like that, because all those big monsters from the Universal days are included in this movie, and that's why I would recommend it to Goosebumps fans. And mainly, it's also a kid's film, but not really. It's kind of like one of those 80s kids movies like Gremlins that really... I don't know if I would say it's for kids, frankly, because there's a lot in it. <laughs> there's a lot in it, a lot of jokes, a lot of humor that I'm like, this is not something for kids. So I recommend keeping that in mind in case you decide to watch the movie. Uh, with your children as a family night, unless your kids are very mature. I would recommend your kid being like 12 or 13 if they're going to watch this. But still, if you haven't seen Monster Squad, I think it's pretty good. I was actually pretty impressed with it. I got to watch it for free on Amazon Prime, which really surprised me as well that you can watch that for free right now. So that was a good deal too. Basically, this is about a group of kids calling themselves the Monster Squad. <clears throat> There's like four kids, I think, four little boys. It's like a clubhouse and everything in one of their backyards. And uh, the main kid, he essentially has parents that really don't get along anymore. The dad is part of the, like, the police squad and stuff. But the kids themselves are obsessed with things like the old classic monsters, like Dracula and Frankenstein and the Wolfman, the Gill Man, which is Creature from the Black Lagoon, uh, the Mummy, so many different things like that. They're so big as fans of that. And the kids themselves aren't super unique, right? Uh, there's one kid that's kind of cooler than them. Is in middle school. His name is Rudy. And he's awesome. He's one of my favorite parts of the entire film. Rudy is like a, a kid that's like in middle school and he smokes cigarettes. And I, I don't like him because of that. Don't smoke. That's a bad thing. But <laughs> Rudy is so cool. I just, I, I like the way that character is played. I don't know who played him. I have IMDB up on my phone right now, but I don't know who played Rudy. So I'm going to look that up right now as a, out of respect because I really enjoyed his performance. Um, Ryan Lambert. I don't know who he is. I haven't seen him in anything else as far as I know. But uh, this is also uh, directed by Fred Decker, and it's written by Shane Black, of all people, which really kind of surprised me. Shane Black, Lethal Weapon, Iron Man 3. I love Shane Black, but I was really surprised to see his name attached to this movie. But it has the kind of dialogue where it sounds like Shane Black. It's not taking place at Christmas for once, you know, which kind of surprised me. This is a really good Halloween time type of movie, I would say, if you want something fun to watch during the fall, mainly around Halloween, because it has such a... Such a classic Halloween type. You know, around Halloween time, you like to watch The Mummy and Dracula and Frankenstein and all those big things like that. And this has that feel of those kinds of movies, for the most part, with the monsters themselves. I like the adaptation of the monsters. Um, there are some goofier parts, like with the Wolfman, who can't even turn his neck because he's basically wearing a big animatronic mask. But the big story for this is that once upon a time back in the day when the original ending of the Dracula book and the movie and all of that are done, basically Dracula managed to escape the <laughs> big showdown with Van Helsing and a bunch of villagers, or Jonathan Harker. I don't know who else was involved with that situation at the end of the, or the beginning of this movie, but everybody involved with Van Helsing trying to kill Dracula and his three brides, um, they get sucked into like a portal, right? Because they brought in a girl who could read whatever that language was. I think it was German or something. I'm not really sure. I think it was German. Yeah, because there's a creepy old German guy in this film uh, who becomes becomes kind of a protagonist, sort of. But <clears throat> the kids themselves, all these years later in the 80s, have to essentially take down Dracula and the monsters because Dracula comes back, has his, his like, hearse that he drives, which is awesome looking, and he brings all the other monsters with him, right? So it's kind of like House of Dracula, House of Frankenstein type stuff. And the kids have to try to, you know, defeat these things that they've always idolized, right? It's really fun. It's a it's a fun movie. It's kind of just a turn your head, turn your brain off type of thing. 
uh, just have a big dumb fun time and that's really all it's meant to be and it's fun for what it is I liked it um, I would recommend it to people who are my age that are fans of Goosebumps I think this is a really cool type of just different movie I've never really heard many people talk about this I've heard little mentions of it here and there on the internet I've heard certain reviewers that I watch on YouTube mention this as a movie to talk about never heard much beyond that so it's something kind of in the limelight I think for cult status you know I like it. I thought it was pretty good. Um, there's not a whole lot to say about it. There is some some gore, some blood for anybody who wants to watch. This is a family night type thing, so keep that in mind as well. There is some cursing. Um, I love the design of the monsters, especially Frankenstein. Frankenstein looks pretty cool in this movie, or Frankenstein's monster, whatever you want to call the guy. Um, even the kids debate over this too. It's everywhere. Every time I talk about Frankenstein, somebody's fighting over what he's actually called, so just shut up. Uh, anyway, but even the guy who's playing Dracula does a pretty good job, too. And the ending was pretty eventful. It, it felt like a Shane Black-type ending, where the tension just keeps building and building to a finale that we don't know how we're going to solve this problem of taking care of Dracula and all of these guys. The film was only like an hour and ten minutes, an hour and fifteen minutes, kind of in the same vein of these old black-and-white Universal Classic Monsters films. So that's pretty cool, too. I liked it. I thought it was decent. Um, yeah. I don't really have a whole lot to say about this movie. I enjoyed it a lot. I definitely recommend it if you guys are fans of Goosebumps or if you're fans of the Universal Monsters films, which I plan on talking a lot about because I love those movies to death and they're huge influences on R.L. Stein for Goosebumps and so many other things that he's done. So, I think it's worth talking about Monster Squad here on the channel. Anyway, when it comes to this movie, if I had to rate it on a five-star basis, um, I think entertainment value would be higher than the film itself. Like, the filmmaking, I mean. For me, overall, I would say I'd give it like a 3 out of 5, but it's like a high 3 out of 5 stars. It's good. It's a really fun little movie. And it's, like I said, it's more for adults and teens than I would say a kid would watch it. I don't think kids should watch it. There are kind of creepy moments, kind of jump scares and stuff in it. But it's fun. It's silly. It's goofy. It's over the top. And it's enjoyable. And it has a little bit of heart to it, I think, especially with the, the parents of the main character that aren't really doing good with their marriage. They're having a lot of hard troubles because of the dad's job and stuff. Really, there is some heart here, and I enjoy that. I think it's something worthwhile. It makes it a little bit more memorable than what you would expect. But anyway, what are your thoughts, guys, on this film? Put your thoughts and comments down below on this movie. I'd love to hear what you have to say about it. Thank you for watching. May the Lord Jesus Christ bless you guys today, and goodbye.